Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So the BBC just released a brand new trailer for Doctor Who Series 8, and it was mostly to announce the premiere date of August 23rd, which was kind of when I expected it to be. Even though it was a really short clip, we still got loads of new information, so this is going to be a breakdown of all that. Hello to all the new people. If you're finding me for the first time, I'm doing Doctor Who videos every week. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. Whenever episode one does premiere, I'm actually gonna do a special giveaway. It'll be just like my Game of Thrones giveaway and the Legend of Korra one that I'm doing right now. So I'll be sure to explain that whenever we get closer. So important stuff. Like I said, Doctor Who series eight episode one will air Saturday, August 23rd on BBC One and BBC America. I don't know all the channels that it airs on internationally because it airs in many, many countries, but it's basically going to be on the same station at the same time on the same day that it's always been. It wasn't super hard to guess that that was when the premiere was going to be, August 23rd. It's just the first Saturday after the last day of their world tour. If any of you guys actually do end up going to those world tour dates, be sure to let us know in the comments. If it's coming to a city near you, you should really try and go because it's going to be a lot of fun. The one that's coming to America is in New York City, so I won't be able to see just because I live in California, but that's okay. So now let's break down that new trailer. I'm just going to be covering things as they appear. The first thing we notice is the huge change to the stock of the TARDIS console. It's red, a very, very ominous red. The TARDIS interior itself doesn't look too different, which is expected since they spent about $2 million building Matt Smith a new TARDIS in the 2012 Christmas special, The Snowman. I'd say the companions like Clara being able to travel in multiple TARDISes is a really rare thing, but since the 2005 reboot, it seems like most of each Doctor's final companion gets to see that next TARDIS and the next Doctor. So if you are like a Doctor's final companion, the chances that you'll get to travel in a new TARDIS are pretty good. It's hard to argue if Capaldi's TARDIS is going to be new because they're really just changing the stock of the console. It's a big change, but not super huge. Until we get a better look at the interior, I'm just going to call it a minor revision, but not full on new. I predict that they're going to make some minor changes to the interior skin, but the superstructure as well as the Galfrayan symbols up at the top are going to stay the same. The explosions we've seen before, they're just a continuation of the explosions that started whenever Matt Smith regenerated into Capaldi. Episode 1 is going to pick up like right as the Christmas special is ending, like in that moment where Clara's like, oh my god, who is this new doctor? It does kind of seem like the TARDIS always crashes during a regeneration. Whenever Tenet regenerated into Matt Smith, he still knew how to fly it, but it was severely damaged, which is one of the reasons why he didn't come back for Amelia Pond at the right time. I do have another theory about the girl who waited, just because it seems like the TARDIS has an awareness that's a little bit sharper than the Doctor's. I'm guessing it actually took Matt Smith to adult Amelia Pond on purpose, not because it malfunctioned. Like we heard Idris say in The Doctor's Wife, I may not take you where you want to go, but I always do take you where you need to go. I love how that implied that the Doctor has absolutely no idea what he's doing and he's just making things up as he goes along, but that might also be Stephen Moffat making fun of himself just a little bit. The voiceover Capaldi has as it zooms in on his eyes a little sinister. Clara, be my pal, tell me, am I a good man? The delivery on that makes it sound like he's asking as if he's not sure he wants to be a good man. There was this April Fool's joke that the BBC was doing where they basically put it out that Capaldi was secretly the master in disguise. I don't know that the BBC was behind it, it might have been someone else, but that was absolutely ridiculous just because we saw Matt Smith regenerate into Capaldi. Moffat did reveal that Capaldi's doctor will be much less accommodating. Stern was the word used specifically, but I think it just implies that he won't be as inclined to help others as he was in the past. If that's the case, obviously the doctor has to keep helping people, so the responsibility of getting him to help people will fall on Clara and the other new companions that join up. If you haven't seen any of my other videos for Series 8, I actually explain who those new companions are going to be. It's basically the Danny Pink character and his sister. So somewhere after Episode 4, there will be three companions traveling in the TARDIS. Clara's line in the trailer, even though it comes right after the Capaldi voiceover, isn't answering him directly. I don't think I know who the Doctor is anymore, is from a different scene. That's probably taken from that first episode, which means she might be talking to Madame Vostra because we've seen pictures of her on set for that episode. It stands to reason that the Doctor's friends would be confused by Capaldi's behavior post-regeneration, especially if he doesn't care about them the way he used to. So then there's this really interesting zoom in on his eyeball, which I think has some hidden imagery. We just see his iris and his pupil, but part of me wants to think that the imagery is also supposed to be a visual reference to either a black hole or the time vortex that we see in the opening credits, or the untempered schism, which we haven't seen since the end of time, or even the Eye of Harmony. There are a lot of eyeball references in Doctor Who. So it could be a reference of things that they're going to be bringing back in Series 8, or maybe some things that we might see in the future, if not in Series 8. The last thing that you may have missed unless you watched the teaser a few times was Capaldi's modified intro music. It plays like right at the end for just a brief second. 
Stephen Moffat has updated the opening credits a few times while he's been showrunner. You know, not huge changes, just really small, subtle ones. Remember whenever they broadcast the 50th anniversary, they used the original intro from that first broadcast. It's changed a lot since then, but the same basic tones are there. That's really the one big thing they haven't shown off yet, Capaldi's official opening credits scene. There have been a lot of fan versions, but I'm wondering if they're going to show it off at Comic-Con next month, or if they're just going to wait till that first episode. Sometimes whenever they take footage to Comic-Con, it's really just a highlight reel. Like, they don't show, like, a lot of brand new footage that you don't already see. Like, last year at Comic-Con, they basically showed what ended up becoming the first teaser trailer for the 50th anniversary. So it's not a huge deal if you're not in Hall H whenever that's happening. There's nothing that they're going to show in there that you won't also see at the end of August, so no worries. But now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think that that red TARDIS console means? And do you think there's any hidden imagery in Capaldi's eye whenever it zooms in on that? So because I have a ton of other videos to do this weekend, there's a bunch of stuff happening. I'm not going to do a Q&A for this. So just write your comments on this video and I'll try to answer as many as possible. Saturday is basically going to be my new Doctor Who day, if it hasn't been already. Here's what my bonus videos are going to look like till episode one premieres. It'll be one video every Saturday, not including Comic-Con weekend. There'll be some extra stuff then. Then the week episode one airs, I'm going to do a Saturday morning bonus video, then an episode review that night, and then a Q&A on Sundays. You know, one for each new episode, so that's like 36 plus Doctor Who videos during the season. And then it'll go just back down to that one video per week. I will be doing some extra stuff for the Christmas special, just like I did last year, but I'm going to wait till we get a little bit closer to talk about that, just because it's so far off. So in the meantime, be sure to subscribe to get everything. I'm so excited about Series 8. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you're a big fan of Classic Who, you're really going to like Series 8. Right now, click here to get a breakdown of all the episodes, and click here to learn about my top 10 people that I'd like to see become Doctor Who companions in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives.